Hi, Sherry. Hi, Catherine. Thank you for joining. Today is 21 days as of around uh, 6 o'clock this evening. The counter hit 21 days and it takes 21 days to hatch eggs chicken eggs, duck eggs too, emu, that's something different. getting myself fully set up here I'm getting my chair out so I can sit and watch the action this is so exciting so this is not the first egg that pipped um, actually before the counter hit 21 days I had one roughly around uh, probably about lunchtime that pipped first and she is on the other side. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. We just saw feathers. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys see that? Hi, April. Lisa, Arky. Joy. I know it's been a while. I have been around. No, Sherry. Actually, right now I'm in my mainland house. Oh my gosh, I can hear them cheeping. I have never seen this in real life. I was never one of those kids that ever had an incubator in the classroom. I've never seen this before other than watching lots of YouTube videos. Oh, look at that. This one is fighting really hard. This egg, I'm thinking that this baby is from my Rhode Island Red. Um, I'm not really sure. All of these babies are crazy hybrids. Um, the mothers are, let's see, I've got some silkies. I've got some Rhode Island Reds, some, let's see, Olive Eggers, and I think I did have some Easter Eggers that made it in there, and I think I also have um, a couple of Brahmas. Now, what's interesting about the dads, um, for some of these eggs i'm not entirely sure um the chickens that uh, they came from i i just adopted um i have a a good friend on the island who passed away under very tragic circumstances um her death is still being investigated and she had chickens as well as a black German Shepherd named Annie. So I am now Annie's new mom, and I am the 
uh, also adopted mom of seven of her chickens. Uh, five of them went to another neighbor on the island. So um, long story short, um, some of these eggs from her chickens could still have her original rooster that fertilized them. But I don't know what kind of rooster he was. Now for the others that are fertilized, they are fertilized by my babies that showed up last May, I believe it is. Uh, my boys are half olive agar and half silky. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're just, they're so beautifully colored, but they've got those gorgeous, long, flowy feathers, just like a silky chicken. And their names are Buckwheat, uh, hold on for a second. I just saw something and it threw me off. Oh, oh here it is. I named them after the, the little rascals. So their names are uh, Spanky, Alfalfa, and Buckwheat. So those are my roosters. And they're the ones that fertilized the, the rest of these eggs. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. It's like we just saw its head pop out. My first one on the other side, I'm actually getting kind of concerned and I don't know when I'm supposed to step in to kind of help it out a little bit. Um, it's still peeping, it's still moving over there, but she really hasn't made any progress for a number of hours. Can everybody in the uh, chat room see the chat? Can anybody confirm in the chat? Hi, Robin. Okay, good. April, I'm hoping that you can see the chat now. Oh my gosh. I'm not really sure, April. Um, I'm using my phone right now, so what I'm seeing on this end looks different than when I'm looking on my computer. 
thank you for joining us tonight. I know it's a little bit later, but we finally had some action that I thought was worth filming. Oh, oh wow. That is such a big hole on top. It is going to be so interesting to see what colors this crazy bunch is. And I'm really hoping that there is success with my silkies. Because one of the mothers is my silky Cleopatra that I've had for about um, almost four years. And the silky rooster that we have, Elvis, he did not like Cleopatra. In fact, he picked on her. So um, she didn't have a mate until the little rascals showed up. So the little rascals, my boys, they are Spanky, Alfalfa, and Buckwheat. They are half Olive Agar and half Silky. So it's, it will be really cool to see uh, what Cleo's babies look like. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. I appreciate you helping out there. I'm not very technologically savvy, actually. So who out there has chickens? As pets, or do you have a farm, or did you grow up on a farm? Did you ever have chickens growing up? Lisa has chickens. I think chickens are the coolest animals ever. Chickens and goats. And I do have one goat, Percy. He's really funny. He has a crush on our one hen, Patton. So Percy's a little confused. <laughs> What kind of farm did you grow up on, Lisa? Oh, Sponge Angel, welcome. You have rescue hens. I love that. Do you want me to get you any more times tonight, or? Um, just like, once they like actually have to be recorded. Okay. My son has been doing his own recordings periodically throughout the day, so. He's getting it all documented for his girlfriend. But actually, we are all extremely excited about this. I mean, this is just, this is so cool to see the cycle of life like this in action. It's really neat. And to see how reliable nature is. I mean, exactly 21 days, bam. Then they're ready to break out. It's, it's really amazing. Shalom, Cece. No, I am currently in my mainland house. Hello, John. Good to see you. For those just tuning in. Hi, Doreen. Good to see you. 
your neighbor has chickens and you talk to them every day. They come running to see. I know. Isn't that so much fun? I laugh. I mean, belly laughs when I see a chicken run. It's hilarious. They all have such interesting personalities. So for, hey, hey, Linda, good to see you. For those of you just joining in, this is my first incubation um, that's successful. I tried this um, a couple of years ago. I actually got silky eggs from eBay and I had a really cheap incubator. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I just did the whole thing wrong and none of them um, were viable. So um, I, they kind of scared me and I think it was a, a few months ago, I said, you know what, I'm just going to get an incubator that works better for me. Um, I'm all over the place doing a lot of different things. And kind of unfortunately for me, when something is out of routine, like an incubator and turning eggs, I'm, if it's out of sight, it's going to be out of mind. So this time I got an incubator that did all the turning for me, um, temperature control. I mean, the only thing I had to do was make sure to put water in it. And here we go. It's, hey, Anna, thanks for joining us. So here we are. Oh, come on, baby. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It, it probably is not picking up on the mic, but the little cheeping is so cute. I do believe that this egg that is hatching out right now, um, I think has come from my Rhode Island Red and her name is Myrtle. Myrtle lays huge eggs. And a lot of times they look like they're double yokers, but it's just one massive orange yolk on the inside. So I do believe that this is Myrtle's baby that's coming out right now. Oh no, Linda. April um, asks, do you keep the chicks on the mainland house? No, I do not. Um, I mean, these little ones, yes. Um, while I have them, I'm going to have them in the brooder for a little while. And once they get to a certain size where I can no longer contain them in a big bin, <laughs> when they all start jumping out, that's when they're gonna go to the island house. Um, they have a brand new chicken coop that Terry is going to be assembling this weekend. So we are getting prepared for them when they become pullets. <laughs> Linda, so you're saying the dog didn't eat them. The dog mothered them. Oh, thank you, Robin. Yeah, I thought that it would be really cool to um, broadcast this. It's, I mean, I'm an, I'm an absolute awe. I think that this is just such a miracle. And it's, it's part of homesteading that I've looked forward to for a really long time. So Terry and I have quite a few things together. So this is uh, the next step. 
adding to our flock and making sure there's a really good egg supply because I'm telling you, those eggs are, I mean, that's manna. Oh, come on, baby. That is so neat, Linda. Robin, I've actually never seen this up close. I've never seen it personally. I've only ever watched YouTube videos, but I, I think that that's part of the reason why I am in just such, I, I, I don't know, I am bursting. I'm giddy like a little kid over this. It's a brand new experience for me and it's just, it's so neat. Uh, springtime is just, it's so special. New life and planting. I've gotten a lot of my planting done. I've gotten a lot of my uh, my seedlings are growing. I have them in my hallway. I put them in front of my um, picture window. So they've been growing and when they get, you know, to be decent enough to where I can plant them. I'm going to go ahead and take them outside. But I'm working on, um, let's see, squash, cucumbers, onions, radish, um, let's see, peppers, like green peppers. Um, actually, I think the ones I planted were heirloom. Um, tomatoes, cabbage, kale, um, I planted potatoes, so we'll see if that works. Um, I have strawberries growing. I'm trying to think. I think there's one more thing that I planted. I definitely planted like um, some pots of uh, mixed greens and lettuce. John, I'm hoping that our last freeze has is already done in this area anyways. Um, the weather has been really gorgeous. It's definitely been springtime weather. Um, we actually even mowed the lawn today because it was really uh, lush and green. and um, It just smelled so good. Oh my gosh, it smelled so good. That's like childhood to me to smell the uh, grass and hear the birds chirping. So I've been really on top of my homesteading this year. My whole back garden or well, backyard, but the former owner had an amazing green thumb and uh, the flowers that she planted. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It looks like the secret garden, at least to me. <laughs> and it smells so good outside. <clears throat> Allergies are starting to act up, but... Oh, there's so much chirping. I don't know if you guys can hear it at all. Come on, beauty. I like to name my chickens after shows and favorite movies. So I already told you about my little rascals. So my ruse are... Um, Spanky, Alfalfa, Buckwheat, and their sister Darla. And then I have, I actually have two Shirley's because I have Shirley and Temple. They're my two Americanas. And I have Laverne and Shirley. 
I also have Lucy and Ethel and Ozzy and Harriet. I've got Myrtle, uh, General Patton, call her Patton, Urkel, Gertrude, um, oh yeah, a Betty for Betty Davis, of course. I already know that I'm going to name at least three of them in here. Rocky, Adrian, maybe Polly. Oh my gosh. Let me see if you guys can... See if we can get a better look. I'll give you guys a little bit better. No, it's a really tough angle. Uh, John, yes, we are. So we have filming that starting either later next month in April or they're coming in May. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might need to go get a drink. Excuse me, guys, for a minute. I'm going to go get a glass of water. Thank you for holding, guys. Oh, sorry. Well, John, it's going to be a long wait because they're just filming the pilot. So <clears throat> if, um, if the pilot goes well, then they're going to want uh, 12 episodes. Yeah, Rob and mine are going crazy right now. I just got myself a seltzer water for my throat, but it's feeling like... <clears throat> well, I was digging around in the weeds and stuff today, and there is somewhat of, you know, a pollen count outside already. So I just picked up a um, Robitussin, one of the honey kinds for my throat. Hey, Denise. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, that's awesome. Th so this is the first time that I'm hatching chickens and apparently did something right. Um, I got an automatic incubator this time. 
So it did all the turning. It did the countdown. It definitely helped um, to regulate the temperature and the humidity. So um, it really took most of the work away from me because the first time that I attempted with my cheap incubator, I just didn't do it right. You know, they weren't getting turned when they were supposed to. And um, half the time I would forget the water and it was, it was, it was just a disaster. So um, I needed an incubator that was a little bit more 101 hatching chicks for dummies. So that's what I went with. And um, we hit 21 days at about 6 p.m. Now, I have one that's still pipped on the other side, and I'm getting worried about her because she pipped at about um, around lunchtime today and really hasn't made any progress. So... I don't know at which point I should try to help out with um, tweezers. Uh, I don't know. Um, the one that we are watching right now just pipped at about, I want to say, 8 o'clock. And we already have this much action on it. So it does make me worry about the first one. No, um, this one's not, it's not too big, Denise. I'll show you. I think just because it's, up, like, up close, but it's not, it really isn't that bad. I got it from Amazon. I'm sure there is a book, John. <laughs> I didn't buy it though. I did the uh I did the, you know, watching 100 and some videos on YouTube, uh which was actually great because I discovered some really good new channels that I wasn't aware of before and um so right now I'm really into um like farm channels and homesteading. Um this is something that I've wanted to do since I was a little girl. Did you already put your eggs in yet, Denise? Oh my gosh, there's so much chirping going on. Ah, uh, yeah, I forget, you're in a different part there. A lot of people still have very freezing weather. Or crazy tornadoes. Oh, you heard it? Did anybody else just hear that? Hi, Penny. Welcome to the chat. Thank you for coming. Oh, Denise, that would drive me insane. Now, we ended up having an extremely mild winter here in Maryland. Um, we didn't get any snow. Um, I think maybe a little bit of Maryland might have gotten some snow, but it, it wasn't anything that, you know, was shutting schools down or, you know, blocking up the roads or anything like that. So it was exceptionally mild. Oh, good. Doreen heard the chirp.
Oh my gosh, I'm going to see if I can see what color the feathers are. Hi, Rebel. Thank you for joining us. I know, I can't believe it. It's the cutest chirp. Let me see if I can see what color it is. Maybe I can get a, a look from... Let's see. Oh... Oh, she is so close. She's got that zipper. Yep. Oh, she's about to bust out. She's got that great zipper going. Oh, here she comes. I can't tell. She might be like a reddish color, maybe. Come on, baby. Oh, she is coming. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Yep, that zipper is right down the middle of the egg. I'm worried about my other baby over here. I'd like to see some more action. <clears throat> Hi, Ale. Oh, no, not nice. I don't think so, Ale. We're, we're just letting nature take its course, you know. You're doing a good job. <clears throat> no, I think Ale is just having some fun. Right, Ale? Because this is a nice room. And let me tell you what. Chicks are always happy around feeding time. Now, when these guys hatch, or I should say ladies, um... 
I know that I'm definitely going to have a couple of roosters in there because I did not um, sex the eggs before I put them in the incubator. But after I put them in the incubator, I found out that there is a way to tell um, whether you're going to get a hen or a rooster. So apparently if the eggs are pointy in shape, that's a roux. And if the eggs are round, that's a hen. So um, I did not know that beforehand. So we're going to get what we get. Do I have a mod that's on? It has been so, so, so long since I've done a live on the Jack and Pickles Vlogs channel that I don't even know if I have a mod. Um, I'm just hoping that everybody that comes in, you know, behaves themselves. Um, this is something that is so amazing, and I just want everybody to be able to enjoy it. Um, in case anybody missed it, um, several of these eggs have come from my adopted chickens. Um, I adopted them after my, my friend was found. Um, dead in the marsh uh, on Smith Island, and um, it's still under investigation, but um, her animals were her everything, and I adopted her dog, Annie, who is a black German shepherd, and I adopted seven of her chickens, so... Some of these eggs are from her chickens, and uh, I don't know. It just makes it more special to me because I really miss her a lot, and it's like honoring her through seeing, you know, the sight, this cycle of life. Uh, I don't know. That might sound cheesy to some people, but. Our animals are family, absolutely. Percy will have new siblings, yes, and he'll probably have a few, you know, new crushes because he gets crushes on certain chickens. Um, Percy is a little confused, but God love him. He is so funny. We love Percy. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Penny. Old Spice. My father loved Old Spice. That's what he wore. And when I was a little kid, of course, that's what I got him for Christmas at the CVS, which when I was a little kid, it used to be People's Drugstore. <laughs> it was either an old an Old Spice soap on a rope or it was a pack of cigarettes because in the 80s, you know, kids were allowed to go into the gas station and say, I'm buying a present for my dad and, you know, get a pack of cigarettes. So things have greatly changed. Oh, thank you, Rebel, very much. Yeah, it's, um, it is still under investigation. And uh, 
just lo- just losing her, it is just just such a loss for everybody and for the island. Um, she was our um, she was the manager for the um, Smith Island Cultural Museum, and she was making leaps and bounds. I mean, just helping get grants and change things and. Um, I just went over a couple days ago and the museum was painted. It had a new roof. There's like new, um, like new railing that's going up. Like it looks so beautiful and, you know, I'm looking at it and I know that she's the one that did all that and she's not even around to see it, um, And her dog, Annie, who is now my my doggie, (laughs) it's official. I had to go through the county and do the official adoption and everything. And she, um, her parents were police dogs. And she used to, oh, we've got so much action. Annie used to help assist with uh, finding missing, missing persons. Nobody knows what happened. There's a lot of speculations, but it is still under investigation. But she was found. Um, she was found in in the marsh without her dog. So, but these are partly her her chickens and her animals were her everything. So, watching this miracle, I know she is looking down right now, watching all of this. Uh, Thank you, Penny. Yes, she was one in a million, definitely. Oh, look how much action we have. Come on, baby. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. This one is very fast. Um, She pipped at around 8 p.m. And let's see. Yeah, so 8 o'clock, and it is, on my, on my end, East Coast, it is, let's see, about quarter of 11, so she's hatching out really fast. I'm still very concerned with my first one that pipped, and that was around... Um, 12 p.m., so around lunchtime. Oh, lots of action, lots of action. Come on, baby. That zipper on, I I wish you guys could see it. I don't want to move the um, incubator around anymore, though. Oh, come on. Oh, I see dark feathers. Oh, my gosh.
Penny, I have no idea what to do because this is my very, very first batch that has ever hatched. Uh, I attempted to hatch eggs a couple of years ago. It did not go well. So I got this incubator <clears throat> that took a lot of the work out of it for me. It made it a lot easier to keep up with. So I have no idea. This is all a brand new experience for me. Um, Oh, good, Rebel. Um, just make sure you read all the instructions. Um, I tend to get things mixed up a lot. Um, <laughs> I didn't do well with my small incubator at all. Um, I got it because I was trying to save money, but in the long run, it it cost me more money, and I just wasn't good at operating it that manually. Um, I had silky eggs that I had bought from eBay, so none of those hatched. So I decided that I was going to try to do the the easier way, more the the no-brainer way, and get this fancy, <laughs> fancier incubator. Oh my gosh, we have so much action here. If you guys would notice how much of the shell is fallen off and it is completely open all the way, all the way down the middle of the egg, it is open. So this young lady should be out pretty soon. Denise, I know, but I don't, I'm not sure when I should try to intervene to do that. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just kind of confused. I watched a couple of videos and they said that as long as there's cheeping and still movement, to try to let them do it on their own. But I don't know like how many hours that should be, um, especially since I'm now seeing this other one and how quick because, I mean, from pip to now, that's pretty quick. And my other little girl on the other side, she's been pipped. She's got the smallest, smallest hole where you can see that she's broken through the membrane, but it hasn't gone any further than that. So I'm not sure when I should go in with the tweezers and just try to um, get a little bit of that away. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Robin, I've looked up so many things on Google and... Um, I really should have gotten a bunch of books, but you know, I didn't. I'm thinking that I really need to get like some kind of um, subscription to a chicken magazine or something. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Oh. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Oh, she's so tired, look. Oh, she's going to take a break. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
I think she's like red. I think she's reddish. Maybe black and red. Oh my gosh, she is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just, I can't get over it. Oh my gosh. God is so amazing. I mean, nature is just so dependable and beautiful and reliable. I mean, look at that. 21 days. Oh, my gosh. Here she is. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, she's spunky. Oh, everybody, you have to help me name this one. We have got to name this one. She is a big chick. So this came from Myrtle's egg. Myrtle is a Rhode Island Red. And she lays the biggest... Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Linda. Okay, you win. Velvet. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. Okay, everybody, this is, yes, red velvet, like a Smith Island cake. I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you, John. I am so glad you guys could watch this with me. This is just such a cool experience. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. She is so cute. Welcome to the world, Red Velvet. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so beautiful. So what I was saying about the eggs is that Myrtle lays these monster eggs and I always think there's, it's got to be a double yoker, but they're never a double yoker. They're just one giant egg yolk. <laughs> so I was thinking that this one is probably going to be a big baby. Oh, Rebel, no, thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, let's see, I believe I have 15 eggs. So We'll see if anybody else comes out tonight. Oh, she's feisty. 
Now the chicks can stay in the incubator for a couple of days. You don't have to give them food or water yet. Um, they have a lot of nutrients from the egg. And I don't want to take her out because she needs to stay warm in there, get dry. And also her chirping is going to help encourage the other ones to come out. Oh, my battery is going. Let's see if I can plug this in. <clears throat> Everyone, my battery to my phone is about to die. But, um... I, I'm not within the reach of a plug to be able to plug it in. But I am so glad you all got to witness this. Thank you for being here with me tonight and for seeing our first spring chick. And for helping us to name it Beautiful Red Velvet. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Have a good night. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye.